hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to achieve this diy braidless crochet absolutely no conros are needed for this hairstyle and that's perfect especially if you don't know how to conroe this will have you looking bomb in less than an hour i can't conroe to save my life so this is a perfect hairstyle for someone like me as well and all i did was i sectioned my hair into like five sections i think so one big section at the back and then two small sections on each side making them four at the front you will see what i'm talking about in a minute i know the hair is looking a bit dry or whatever let me tell you girl this hair does not stay moisturized even if i apply anything i have tried everything so if you have tips on how to keep your hair very moisturized please let me know in the comment section down below anyway as you can see i have sectioned my hair like each side has two sections so i had four sections at the front you could definitely use gel if you're in the mood for gel i personally didn't want gel in my hair so i kept it at bay and i let my hair be wild and my edges are not laid but i think that's perfectly okay you don't have to have snatched edges all the time so if you want to do gel good for you if you don't want to do gel good for you we're not judging in 2019 okay don't judge me thank you I brought the front sections to the back to join the bun at the back and this is what your hair should look like at this point moving on to the hair i'm using i got this hair off aliexpress i will link it down below in case i find it but i wanted something that resembled the jamaican bounce i couldn't find the jamaican bounce so this was the next best thing and it worked fine to be honest it just it kind of gets a bit tangled but it's not too much so get whatever hair you prefer it's all up to you i actually like how this turned out and i am not mad about it All I'm doing now is a normal crochet process. Just take your hook right through your hair, loop your hair through it, take it to the other side and pull both strands and you have your crochet. It's easier to see than to explain, so I hope you guys can see what I mean. Make sure to crochet around the bun don't crochet onto the bun because it's going to be so difficult to take it out so just make sure you crochet around it don't go on the bun just avoid it at all costs
once you've crocheted the whole back this is what it should look like this looks super impressive it actually looks like it could be my hair i know i'm getting carried away but i like how it turned out now coming to the front bit i did the invisible knot method basically what this is is you take your braiding hair through your hair and then when you're looping you only loop one strand of the hair that way the knot is covered by the other strand of the hair if that makes sense so this is basically the process i used throughout my front section i felt that it looked a bit more natural than having the normal like crochet process but it's all up to you but i definitely do recommend the invisible knot method it looks way better and it comes out way more natural looking in my opinion so i highly recommend it done this is my whole head done this took less than an hour actually i think it took about an hour and it's so easy to do so make sure you try it i promise you you won't regret it also cut off the excess braids that may be hanging with the scissors anyway that's it for my video today i'm going to leave you with four ways to style this hair that way you can look cute as hell for that date for work for school i got you okay i hope you guys enjoyed watching it and i'll see you in my next one until then bye guys my heart was